Hey fellow foodies, it's Faye from facefood.com and today I'm going to show you how to make some homemade apple cider. So of course we need some apples, right? So uh, I'm using a mix of Granny Smith and Gala. Any good baking apple will do the trick. Um, I'm using Granny Smith for its tartness and the Gala apple for its sweetness. Uh, but like I said, you can mix it up. You want to wash the apples really well and uh, put them in your stock pot. Alright, so same thing, we're going to wash these oranges really well, and then we're going to begin to quarter them up, using two big oranges here. Excuse my voice, I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I have a cold right now, so tis the season for that, so hopefully you don't mind too much. Um, Alright, so now I'm going to start to cut the apples. Now I'm not going to cut them all, I'm just going to cut a few so that we can get kind of the essence of what's in there uh, in our cider. Uh, you don't have to cut them all up, but I just cut a few in half like this. And we'll put them, we'll put them in our uh, pot as well. Alright, so we have our fruit in there and now we add our water. And essentially, you just want to fill the pot up. And um, obviously the water is going to be what your cider is at the end of the day, so just make as many as you need. Or, make, or use as much as you need and um, you want about two inches of space from the top left all right so then you can add in your spices I'm using some uh, whole cinnamon sticks whole cloves and um, some ground nutmeg you can of course just use the whole nutmeg if you have it all right and then you want to put it on heat and you want to bring it to a simmer over um, medium high heat and once it reaches the simmer, you cover it and you continue to cook it on like a low heat for two hours. At the midway point, you want to, or when you can, when the fruit is soft enough, you just want to begin to mash everything up. And that's just to, again, release uh, the juices of what's inside of, of uh, the actual fruit. Okay, you continue to cook it for another maybe 20, 30 minutes. And then you can begin this step which is just pouring the mixture through a cheesecloth or paper towels through a fine mesh strainer. And that's essentially your apple cider. Uh, I keep it in a uh, mason jar like this. It's just a lot easier, uh, but you can keep it and store it as you please in the fridge. It'll, it's best within the first few days, uh, but it'll last for up to a week. And you can see I added in some brown sugar, like light brown sugar as my sweetener. Uh, at this point off the heat is when you want to add your sweetener whether you're using maple syrup or light brown sugar I also added in just a bit of vanilla and then I'm gonna give this all a mix and this is gonna be our apple cider you see how easy it is to make at home uh, I hope you guys give this a try it's so much better um, than the store-bought stuff when you make it homemade so the full recipe will be on facefood.com. Like this video, comment below if you have any comments or questions. And subscribe to this channel for more great videos on the way. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. I've been thinking about all the things you do I wanna take you from me